What's up desktopers, Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding and we are back with another video and today I'm wrapping up the 2020 Chicago Pro held in Atlanta, Georgia and Akeem Williams comes out on top against a very, very good Justin Rodriguez and Max Charles. So let's get into reviewing this contest and what it means for Big Ramy. Did he qualify for the 2020 Olympia? Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video to find out what actually happened to the point standing. So let's get into it. Kim Williams takes out this win. And I've got to say, it was very, very close to me after pre-judging. I think a lot of the people online, also people that I saw there, I think Muscular Development, they had Justin winning, saying it was Justin's best they've ever seen. But Akeem Williams, I've got to say, this is one of the best, or if not the best, Akeem Williams I've ever seen. And he did like a very, very quick diet. I actually interviewed him just two days out from this contest. It's up on my channel now. I'll put a little card above just so you can um, click on that if you do want to watch that right now. Otherwise, I'll put the link in the description as well. And he was very confident. I mean, Oscar Arden is his coach, and he really drilled into him about being confident you're going to win this show. And he's all about that positive mindset. He actually used to be the coach of Kai Green um, back when he was contending and fighting against Phil Heath for that Olympia title. So he had obviously the right support um, and since he's been working with Oscar, he's really brought his physique to another level of conditioning and the sizes still remain the same. So I think it's a great win by Akeem Williams. Only his second pro win for a guy that's top 10 in the Olympia and placing seventh of the Arnold. So I think he deserves this win, although I do believe it's very close. So Justin Rodriguez, what strengths has he got? His back double bicep is insane. He's got a few really, really good shots. I think where Justin actually lost this show was just quad size. Once he gets that up, he's going to be extremely hard to beat. And even though Akeem beat him in the legs from the side, his is still very, very good from the side. So once he brings his quads up enough, I think if his quads were just that little bit bigger, I think he would have beaten Akeem here, but they weren't. And I think Akeem, for that reason, deserved the win. I saw a few extra pitches now, and I think, okay, it's a lot... Even, I suppose, I had Justin winning maybe by a few points. But when I saw the other photos, I go, okay, it's pretty even. I can see why Akeem definitely wins this one. So massive congrats to Akeem. And Justin was phenomenal as well. And Justin will qualify now for the 2020 Mr. Olympia based on points. So I assume we'll see him in nine weeks on the Olympia stage, as well as Akeem Williams here. So Max Charles, I believe he also qualifies on points. I'll review it right at the end as well. Uh, he comes in third place here. Impressive conditioning as always. Um, I did hear from some people that he was better than New York and better than Cali here, which is impressive because he plays really well at both of those shows. So Max Charles picks up a nice third position here. And I mentioned this in my pre-judging wrap-up. I said Nick Walker could move up. It looked like maybe he was going to be sixth, perhaps after pre-judging. He moves up to fourth place, which is actually surprising because that last call-out at pre-judging had Eddie Brecamantes in there, didn't have... Um, Nick Walker in there, and it was a final four call out, but he still pushes Eddie Brecamantes out of there. He obviously must have improved, at least in terms of his um, points in the finals. I haven't got the scorecard quite yet. I'll put it up on the screen if it does become available while I'm editing this uh, video. And then we had Eddie Brecamantes drop down to fifth place. I've got to tell you though, I saw some more photos of Eddie um, after the finals, the finals photos, and I thought he got actually better even. So um, but perhaps that's just me playing tricks on myself, but I thought his physique actually looked a lot nicer. I saw a few different angled um, photos as well. So Eddie Bracamantes brings his best here and it was only good enough for fifth because it was that good of a lineup. Any other show that could have been, you know, top two could have even potentially won it. So congrats to Eddie Bracamantes. Sixth, we had Arn win. Like I said at the, at the pre-judging video, very impressive. He's bringing better conditioning in each and each time, pretty much. But I don't think this was quite as good as he was in Cali. I might be wrong in saying that because the lighting's different. Uh, but I thought his legs were a little bit sharper and even a little bit fuller as well. So I don't know if he's getting a little bit burnt out at this stage. But um, still a very, very impressive showing from Arnwin in this lineup. I also want to mention uh, Phil Klaha was also very good. He may have been 7th or 8th in this show. Very, very good. Um, came in super sharp. He has a little bit of distension here and there sometimes. But... Overall, I was very impressed. Packed full of muscle, very, very sharp. Tall guy as well, which is hard to carry that amount of muscle. And uh, he really did it well in this show. 
So that's it from a results, at least of this show. Uh, if you want to see a bit more analysis between Akeem and Justin, go back and watch my prejudging wrap up. And I think you guys will find that pretty interesting. So go pose for pose with uh, Akeem and Justin. Uh, although after seeing a few more of the poses that I was undecided on, I might've lent slightly more Akeem on those poses. So let's get into the point standing and see how things actually sit at this point and what happens with Big Rami and if he qualifies for the 2020 Mr. Olympia. So we have Regan Grimes in on 12 points before this show. We had Max Charles on 11, Mamdu Elsbaye on 9, Arn Wynn on 9, then Steve Kuklo, and then uh, Justin Rodriguez on 8. So by Justin getting second in this show, he acquires 4 points, I believe, or maybe 5 points. So he's going to move up into that top group of guys. He's going to jump Big Rami which is incredibly unfortunate because if Justin Rodriguez had won this show against Akeem Williams, Big Rami would be qualified for the 2020 Olympia. But because Justin placed second and didn't win, he is now out because we needed a, Big Rami needed our win to place outside the top five, which is what happened, but he needed Justin to win and that did not happen. So Rami finishes in equal fourth place with Arn Wynn and they both miss out on a 2020 Mr. Olympia berth and I really thought Arn Wynn was going to place top five and get that Olympia berth but it wasn't to be unfortunately and he places outside and uh, we've got Regan Grimes, Max Charles and Justin Rodriguez in that top three for points and they will go to the 2020 Mr. Olympia. So let me know what you think. Will Big Rami get an invite to the 2020 Mr. Olympia? Because that is his only hope at this point. He's actually just put up these photos saying that he's back and thanks to everyone. Um, so he's looking really, really good. So let me know what you think about that. And let me know what you think about the results of this whole show. Who did you have winning? Justin Rodriguez or Akeem Williams? Or did you have someone else like Max Charles? And would give me your top five. And do you think that Nick Walker really earned that fourth place and he, I suppose, deserved to move up in finals like he appeared to do? Let me know about all that down in the comments below, guys. If you like and appreciate this content, give this video a thumbs up and smash that like button. It helps me a whole lot. And also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. It's literally just clicking, clicking subscribe and that little bell will help me so, so much. It'll help me grow and bring more of these videos to you guys as well. And if you really want to support the channel even more, head to hostile.com. It's uh, H O W -S, S T I L E.com. Enter Zave 10. It's X A V 10. Check out their supplements. They're by Fuad Abiyad. I've been pro bodybuilder for years and he's someone I grew up looking up, up to. And um, I think it's awesome that he actually sponsors the channel now. So Head there, enter Zave 10, check out the products for yourself. They are amazing. They have a bunch of good apparel too, or great apparel. So anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. For Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding, we are...